All right, so this is the Hemi head um, welded on the intake manifold. Um, the other one's going to be uh, using the Clements carburetor. Um, got a big valve uh, head over here, 40, 43, 35 with the welded intake. And then these Hemi heads. Um, this one I just worked on more today. Um, polished up the intake. Um, polished up the uh, valves in the chamber. Um, this one here still needs more chamber polishing. Uh, you can see the level of polish I can bring it to. Uh, this one's pretty good, but it's just not at the same. Um, so... This head's pretty much done. It's got the welded on intake manifold. Um, 3228 big valve welded chamber. Um, this is going to be going on a 2.815 bore. Um, these heads flow amazing. The, uh, the Hemi uh, big valve. Um, let's see if I can rotate this head around. We can see inside of it. It's kind of dirty in there. There's all kinds of shit in there, flakes. That's a look inside the bore. Tubes come out nice, all port matched. That's the benefit of having the uh, welded on intake. Um, you could just really get it matched on there nice. Um, still have to cut the valve reliefs uh, for the. Uh, still have to cut the spring pockets for the valves. But uh, that's pretty much it. Um, hold on, oh, I just lock that stand in place, um, yeah, things coming out pretty nice, I don't know why I keep flipping that damn lever the wrong way, trying to get this thing in the light so it looks good, <laughs> um, I think that's like the best angle, right there. But, uh, yeah, just, just kind of looking at it in all of its beauty. This is for John in Texas. He's got the pair of these. And uh, this big block head over here is mine. It's not done yet. Um, still needs the chamber done a little bit more. Shaping and polishing. And uh, still needs to get milled and stuff like that. But I welded the intake tube on there and did that. Um, I love these Hemi heads, man. There's just, I mean, they're just an astronomical amount of work. You know, there's these, a couple of these heads, these heads alone, not even done yet, have taken up. I started Monday, today's Saturday night at about 11 o'clock at night, pitch black outside. And uh, still just polish, still just working on them. So uh, it's been six days, so more than an entire work week. They still got to go out and get milled, um, which costs me money. And then after that, they still got to get uh, fit up, assembled, cut the spring pockets, um, put the springs and the retainers on. And then I got to start building the bottom ends for these. Um, so I'll probably be done by next week. We still got to order rods and stuff, so, and head gaskets, but, uh, you know, the, the bottom ends will be together in clearance, and we'll be able to order the rest of the parts we need, but just wanted to make this last quick video, since I got this intake welded on, it's looking pretty good, so, uh, next time you, uh, see this, I'll probably be... Uh, building the bottom ends and getting these things all together. These are going to be methanol, the both of them. So uh, 
Paul from Paul's Carts. For any projects, uh, give me a call, 781-492-7358. If you already have, have had a race head and you're trying to go to the next level, that's the type of builds I do. Um, if you're looking for uh, some smaller stuff, I got some stuff listed on eBay. Some heads with seats in them for like 129 bucks. Uh, I think that's the cheapest they are around. Um, I just take the head and I put the seats in it. Um, I buy the head, I buy the seats and put them in. Um, stuff it cost me to put the seats in is thousands of dollars. So, uh, those big valve seats are a great steal for 130 bucks. I think that's the cheapest around. And, um, yeah, I got some other welded heads on there too for like 150 bucks great starter heads if you want something else like if you want to put a big valve welded head together give me a call uh if you want anything big valve welded ported intake tubes guides all that stuff call me all that stuff's customized but uh yeah this is a look at the type of uh builds we got going on right now and until next time paul from paul's carts 781-492-7358 until next time guys have a good day